Hello everyone and welcome to the Hicksville Auxiliary Gymnasium and Junior High Boys Basketball Action. I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. With you a little bit later than usual. Missed the very start of the game, I apologize for that. I had an issue with the other iPad Pro that I was uh, going to do this game on. Went to log on and could not get a connection for some reason. So I had to scramble and uh, go grab the backup. Which is why I was a little bit late. I never had a problem with that other piece of equipment before. So it bit me at the worst possible time. Shots good. The Aces are hosting the Ayersville Pilots. This is the seventh grade game. Score right now is Hicksville leading two to one. Shot up, no good, and we'll follow the action. I'm here by myself, so we're gonna be following the action with minimal play-by-play -play today. And when we get to the quarter break, I'll fill you in a little bit more on just what's going on and what's gonna be happening this afternoon. Travel in a turnover. Jump ball. Two twenty to go in the first quarter, and it's still the aces up two to one. Travel and a turnover. Shot is good by Ayersville, makes it three to two pilots. Runners up and good. That makes it four to three. Aces back on top. Up and good for the Pilots, and they retake the lead now five to four. Yeah. 
Ball goes out of bounds. 34 seconds to go here in our first quarter. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor. This will give me a chance to catch my breath a little bit and, again, get you uh, up to date with uh, the situation here. Again, I apologize for missing the start of the seventh grade game. But, uh, again, um, for some reason, the iPad Pro that I brought down would not connect to the Internet. So I went to the backup. And by the time I was able to get everything reset and resituated, the game was already underway. So we did miss the very start of the game, and I do apologize for that. Also, again, uh, I am here by myself this afternoon, so I'm going to be focusing primarily on bringing you the action on camera, and there will be a minimal amount of play-by-play -play this afternoon. But we'll still be able to keep you up to date with the action going on. Be able to thank our broadcast underwriters. Aces will have the ball out of bounds after the timeout. They are trailing by one. Quick inbounds. No good. Rebound to the Pilots. Nine seconds. No good, and that'll be the end. Shot is no good, and that's the end of the first quarter. With the Pilots leading the Aces 5-4 here at the Hicksville Auxiliary Gymnasium. Glad to have you here with us on the Hicksville Community Television Facebook page as we are live streaming two games for you this afternoon, both the 7th and the 8th grade boys contests against the Ayersville Pilots. Our coverage being underwritten by the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. I want to thank them so very much for their continued support of our Aces basketball broadcast for the 2020-2021 school year. Again, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. Glad to have you with us. One other thing I should mention too, here in the auxiliary gymnasium, the, uh, the bleachers are not quite as well built <laughs> so, as they are in the main gym. So when people pound their legs or stomp their feet, sometimes you'll get some vibrations coming through the camera. There's nothing we can do about it. It even overpowers the onboard stabilization, but. That's part of the fun of being here in the auxiliary gym. Pilots with the ball to start the second quarter. We are underway. That one's good, and he's going to go to the line. That'll make it seven to four in favor of the Pilots. Free throw pending. Two team fouls so far on the Aces and just one. They can hear they're stomping their feet and you can feel the gym shaking. That's good. Pilots double up now, eight to four over the Aces. So in a way, that'll be a foul on Ayersville. That'll be their second team foul. And another foul. First one in and out, no good. 
score remains 8 4 Ayersville. Gets the second one. That'll make it 8 5. Offensive foul. Well, not a foul. Uh, yep, okay, 3-3. Three, three. three fouls for each squad now. Aces with the ball on the possession arrow. Got up and good. Makes it a one point game. Pilots now in the lead, eight to seven. is good and the aces retake the lead now nine to eight. Jump ball, it should stay with the pilots. Last touch by Ayersville. They lead now 10 to 9, 317 to go in our first half. Again, this is the seventh grade boys junior high game coming to you from the Hicksville Auxiliary Gymnasium. Out of bounds, and again, staying with Hicksville. going to be a foul on Hicksville's number 15. 
So that'll turn it over to the Pilots. That'll be team foul number four on the Aces. Comes with 2.51 left to go in the second quarter. No good, under 90 seconds. Pilots with the ball, 120 left to go in the half. Stolen away with one minute exactly to go in the half. foul on the pilots common foul on the floor that'll be team foul number four on Harrisville with 47.5 seconds to go before halftime aces ball out of bounds on the baseline and a travel seconds down to five stolen away and in at the buzzer the aces sink one as the buzzer sounds to go into the halftime locker room with a one-point lead 11 to 10 we've reached halftime of the seventh grade boys basketball game here at Hicksville High School. And again, at the half, it's the homestanding aces leading the Ayersville Pilots 11 to 10. The halftime score, we're gonna take a break. We invite you to stay tuned though, I'll be back. Um, we'll have all of the second half action coming your way right here on Hicks TV.
down to about 90 seconds to go before we get the second half underway. And in case you are just joining us, our halftime score, again, this is the boys' seventh grade basketball game. It's the homestanding Aces leading the visiting Ayersville Pilots, 11 to 10. The one point lead, the result of a thrilling shot at the buzzer right before the start of halftime. So clinging to a one point lead, the Aces have 12 more minutes of basketball to go, at least on the game clock be able to sew up this GMC victory. Teams are huddling up as uh, the final seconds count down and we will be underway shortly with quarter number three. Again I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. Glad to have you here with us. Hope you're enjoying the coverage this afternoon and again uh, after we wrap up the seventh grade game we'll have coverage of the eighth grade matchup for you as well right here on Hicks TV. Flying solo today. Chris Warner had to work and Brian Williams was busy, as was Jim Seiler. So I'm here running the camera and rattling away, but not able to do the uh, type of in-depth play-by-play that we normally do. So we're just sort of keeping you abreast of what's happening in the game and bringing more the action as best we can on camera. Nice loud buzzer very close by. <laughs> Aces will have the ball to start quarter number three, and we're ready to get underway. Here we go. That'll be a foul and two shots coming up. Team foul number one for the second half for the Pilots. First one no good. You'll have one more. Second one is good. That makes it 12-10 for the uh, Aces. That'll roll out of bounds and be a turnover. Aces will get the ball back. Oh, nice shot. That makes it 14-10, Hicksville. Shot by the Pilots, intercepting the pass. They get the ball back, down by four. Aces leading 14-10, Pilots with the ball. And that'll be the first foul of the second half on the Aces. So, common foul. Pilots with the ball out of bounds on the baseline. I have another whistle, another foul. And this one is gonna be a two shot foul. Pilots go to the line with 4.17 left to go in the third quarter. 
and a chance to draw a little closer on the scoreboard. He'll have one more. Misses them both. And the Aces are going to call a timeout while they had possession of the ball right around midcourt. So they will have the ball when we come out of this timeout. Second timeout called by the Aces in this game. Again, uh, Pilots trailing Hicksville on top by four, 14 to 10, with 4.13 to go in our third quarter. Shot up, no good. Aces with the rebound. And that'll be a jump ball. Possession arrow will give it to the pilots. Another jump ball. This time it should be Aces ball. 2.56 to go past the halfway point of quarter number three. Aces leading 14 to 10 in this seventh grade game. That'll be a whistle and a foul. And Aces are going to go to the line. off the front of the iron. Score remains 14-10. Short two, but the Aces get the rebound. foul on the I think it's on the Ayersville bench uh, not uh, not pleased with the comments being made very vocally by the pilots coach evidently technical shot is good makes it 15 to 10 and 
Aces. He gets them both. That'll make it 16 to 10. Aces now leading the Pilots by six. And Hicksville will get the ball after the technical. Rebound to the Pilots. They're down by six, and here comes Ayersville. Short, aces with the ball. <laughs> Hold off for a quick substitution for the aces. And in 18 10 now, Hicksville expands the lead to eight points. Minute 35 to go in our third quarter. out of bounds. It'll be Ayersville's ball. A minute 10 to go in the third quarter. Pilots trailing by eight. They've got the basketball. Team foul number three on the pilots. And that'll be a travel. The Aces will turn it over with 50.3 seconds left to go in the quarter. Good for three. Makes it a five point game, 18 13, and timeout on the floor. Ayersville calls the timeout as soon as they hit that three pointer and cut the lead to five. 30.2 seconds left to go in our third quarter. Again, this is seventh grade boys basketball coming to you here on Hicksville Community Television. Bill Murphy. Not really doing play-by-play, -play, but just kind of filling you in on the, the action as best I can while I run the camera. Hope you are enjoying the coverage this afternoon. And don't forget the eighth grade boys game will be coming up after this one wraps up. We'll have that for you as well here on Hicks TV. Travel and a turnover, back to the Pilots. Chance for Ayersville to draw a little closer on the scoreboard. That'll be on Hicksville, common foul. But team foul number three on the Aces now. Comes with 9.8 seconds left to go in the quarter. And we'll 
have another foul. And two shots coming up for the Pilots. 7.9 seconds still to go in the quarter. That one's good. That'll make it 18-14. One more to come. Ooh, it rolls all around and does not go down. Aces ball up now 18-14. 7.1 seconds to go in the quarter. Out of bounds, it'll go back to the Pilots with 5.6. Nice save, shot up, no good. Out of bounds, it'll be Aces ball with 1.1 seconds left in the quarter. They'll have to go the length of the floor. It'll go out of bounds and back to the Pilots. Quarter number three. We've played three and the Aces lead the Pilots in the seventh grade game, 18 to 14, our third quarter score. Well, we'll get ready for the fourth quarter and we'll take some time to say a big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters making our coverage possible here on Hicksville Community Television. They are, of course, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Remember, if you're in the market for a vehicle, whether you want a car, truck, van, SUV, brand, spanking new, pre-owned, come by, check out the great selection they have on the lots at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships, or you can check out the entire dealer inventory online anytime at jimschmidtauto.com. Don't see what you're looking for? Let the folks at Jim Schmidt know what you're interested in. They always do their best to find you exactly the vehicle that you want. It's all about service before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Buzzer sounds, the huddles break. And it'll be, I believe, pilot's ball at half court to start the fourth quarter. Ayersville trailing by four. Six minutes, a lot of basketball yet to be played here this afternoon. Picked off by the Aces. Back the other way comes Hicksville. player in possession of the ball rolling around on the floor a timeout called by the Ayersville bench before he could be whistled for the travel 509 to go in the game no change in the score still 18 14 Hicksville as we've got a again a timeout on the floor both teams have committed four team fouls each in this second half
Again, this is the seventh grade game, first of two being played here this afternoon. The eighth grade matchup will be following this one. That one will also be for you right here on Hicksville Community Television. <laughs> Teams will break huddle. Back out onto the floor. It'll be Pilots ball on the baseline. They're down by four, 18-14. 5.09 to go in this seventh grade game. Shot up no good, but again, the Pilots maintaining possession here, getting their rebounds, doing a good job. And a whistle, that'll be away from the ball. And I believe on the aces, yep, that'll be team foul number five. Couldn't quite make it to the ball before it goes out of bounds. That'll be a turnover back to the Aces. 4.25 to go in the game. Out of bounds, but last touched by Ayersville. The Aces will maintain possession. And again. Out of bounds off of Ayersville. Knocked away. Another turnover. That makes it a one-point game, 18-17. As the Pilots have done a great job erasing that eight-point deficit, making this a one-point game. They get the rebound, and we've got an injured player on the floor for the Aces. Banged his head on the way down. He'll have a seat. Looks like he's okay, just a bit of a stinger there going down. Ready to get back into action. 3.24 to go here in the game. Pilots with the ball. They've cut a eight point deficit down to only one. The Aces had been up 18 to 10, and now it's an 18 17 game. Attempt no good. Aces with the rebound. We go under three minutes. 
And as soon as the Aces get the ball across half court, another timeout called. 2.56 left in the contest. It'll be Aces ball midcourt when we come out of this timeout. <laughs> Trying to protect that one point lead as the pilots have been playing tough, put together a nice run here again. Close the gap. A couple of three pointers helped out a lot. Aces break huddle first. They'll have the ball. but net from three-point land and now it's 21-17 aces. And a bit of a mugging on that rebound. It'll be aces ball. That's team foul number five on the pilots. Ayersville putting some pressure on. Aces getting put out of bounds and turning the ball back over to the Pilots. Ayersville down four, 21-17 with the ball. 2-17 left to go in this seventh grade game. Goes to the hoop, draws the foul. That's team foul number six on the pilot, so the next foul committed by Ayersville will put the Aces into the bonus. Minute 38 to go in the game. Aces at the line, shooting two. First one no good, he'll have one more. And we'll have a timeout before we get that second shot off. So again, a little over 90 seconds left here in this seventh grade game, minute 38 on the game clock. A timeout called by the Aces as they're working out their strategy to try to finish out this game. When we come out of the timeout, the Aces will have one free throw to go. They're leading by four, 21 to 17. Hoping to hold on here to uh, take home the W this afternoon. Looks like this is going to be a full one minute timeout. Bill Murphy here with you. Again, glad to have you with us. Hope you are enjoying the coverage. First of two games here on Hicks TV. We'll also have coverage of the eighth grade game, which will be coming up after this one. More basketball later in the week, but we'll be moving over to the main gym for some freshman basketball and some uh, girls high school basketball. Freshman boys and girls, I think uh, one half of a JV game and a full varsity game. That'll be coming up on Thursday, which is January the 7th. One more free throw to go. No good. Pilots with the ball and a travel. Aces will get the ball back a minute 35. As 
to take some time off the clock and a travel to the minute 24. So the Pilots with an opportunity to draw a little closer. Off the hands of Ayersville and out of bounds to the Aces with a minute 15. Bad pass, but then a travel, and the Aces will get the ball back. 108 to go in the game. Aces up by four, 21-17 with the ball out of bounds. Going to run the offense for a bit here and take some time off the clock. The runner is in and out. Rebound. It'll be a jump ball. And it'll stay with the aces with 50.6 seconds. Shot up, no good. Pilots come up with the ball with 44. Down the floor, they set up their offense with 38 seconds to go. And a whistle with 36.7 seconds on the clock. That's going to be a foul on the Aces. Team foul number six. First one's no good. You'll get one more. Second one is good, and a timeout called immediately from the Ayersville bench. That makes it 21-18. It's a three-point game. Aces in the lead, but still just the one possession contest. As we get ready to wrap this one up. 36.7 seconds, still a lot of time. Here we got the JV cheerleaders are here this afternoon. <laughs> Small crowd, but they're working hard to make sure that those cheers get out there. All right, it'll be Aces ball on the baseline. 36.7 seconds to go in this seventh grade game. And that should be one and one. As that will put the Aces into the bonus. The 36.1 seconds, Hicksville will go to the line to shoot one and one. Aces could use hitting their free throws here. Up by three, 21-18. Gets the first one. That'll make it 22-18 and make it a two-possession game, a four-point lead. Put it away now, Phil. Take your time. Yeah. 
And he hits them both. A couple good looking free throws. Makes it 23-18, a five point lead now for the Aces. kind of over the back. <laughs> not, much, not much doubt about that one. 24.6 seconds and Aces will be shooting some more free throws. First one's good, you'll get the bonus. Twenty-four eighteen now, it's a six point lead for Hicksville. Make it seven. Twenty-five eighteen with twenty-four point six seconds and the clock rolling. Pilots not gonna be able to take a lot of time. They're gonna need to shoot. All knocked out of bounds. That one goes back into the equipment locker. Pixel coach extolling his seventh graders not to foul. 15 seconds, pilots get the ball in. Take a long shot, and it's good. At a timeout called immediately after that. The three-pointer makes it 25 to 21. A four-point lead now for the Aces. So the Pilots aren't done yet. Clutch free throws from the Aces to pull out to a seven-point lead, but then a clutch three from the Pilots to cut that to four. It's still a two-possession game. Unless I guess one of those weird things happen where somebody gets fouled when they make a three-point shot. And can complete a four point play, but we'll see what happens here. We still have 12.1 seconds left in this contest. It'll be Aces ball, out of bounds on the baseline. And they burn off about six seconds before Ayersville is able to foul them. And that's team foul number nine, so with only six seconds left, uh, this will be the last one and one. If they are able to get another foul in before time expires, from here on out, the Aces will shoot two. Gets it. 26-21. And again, the Aces coach telling everybody, don't foul. Second shot, no good. 26-21, here come the Pilots. They'll launch, no good, and that's the ball game. Your final score, it's the Aces defeating the Ayersville Pilots 26-21 in this seventh grade boys junior high basketball game. So that's going to wrap it up again. Like I said, I'm here by myself, so I haven't been able to keep stats or give you any kind of unofficial scoring. They're gonna clear the gymnasium. And we're going to be wrapping up this, uh, our coverage here. I invite you to stay tuned, though, because uh, coming up in, uh, well, we'll give you a time check. Uh, but we'll have, uh, again, the eighth grade game coming up as well. And that will be probably in about eight minutes or so from right now. So, again, a big thank you to the Hicksville Junior High Athletic Department. Thanks also to our basketball broadcast underwriters, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships here in Hicksville, Ohio. And thanks to you for tuning in and joining us. Hope you enjoyed the coverage this afternoon.
Again, the Aces winners in the seventh grade game. And as we wrap up this live stream and get ready for eighth grade basketball coming up next, we'll wish you, well, I'm Bill Murphy for Hicksville Community Television, wishing you a good afternoon and good sports.